Hello everyone. International Scientific Research and Publications is providing Innovation Awards. Let us know who can nominate for the awards. Universities, colleges, higher educational institutions, schools, coaching institutes, academics and research scholars, corporate and industry, international organizations and associations, consultants, startups, etc. If you have any other doubts or queries, you can contact us through this WhatsApp number or mail us through this mail ID. Thanks for watching. Academy. In today's video, I am here to explain you how to choose your journals for submitting your research paper. I am going to tell you the 5 steps which will help you to find your research journals for submitting your research paper. Let us move on to the step 1 which is the first and the foremost step that you have to determine whether the subject matter of your article matches that of the target journal. Consider the sort of research that the journal focuses on. Journals are very usually very specific about their subject area. Within the subject area also the journal may focuses only on a particular uh, aspect of the subject. For example, histopathology and the journal of pathology are two much respected journals which focuses on different aspects of the same subject namely pathology. Finally, confirm that your target journal accepts the article type you are intended to submit. For example, if your paper is a case study, check that the journal publishers case reports. Submission to a journal that does not accept the type of article you have written you and gives you an almost 100 percentage of chance that the manuscript will be rejected. And the second one which is you have to check what is the readership and the target audience. The following factors should be accessed which is multidisciplinary journal. If for example your paper could have a bearing on a public policy or could change the way nurses handle patients care. Then choose a broad based journal that reaches a wide and non-technical audience. Spe special Speciality journal, if your paper is highly specialized or technical, your, you will do better to publish in a journal with a small but very significant target or a specific target audience. Researching the right readership can sometimes be more important than reaching a wide readership. How popular is the journal among your peers? Talking to established colleagues will help you assess whether the journal is widely read among your peers. And the third step which is, is the journal is highly visible. You have to check that the journal is visible or not. Once your paper is published, it should be easy to find by other researchers. Journal visibility plays an important role in this regard. Is the journal included in electronic databases? Is the journal is in ISI web of science? Is it is indexed in the popular subject specific databases in your field? This improves the visibility of your research paper in your chosen field of research and may also increase the number of times your article is cited. And the fourth step you have to check what is the CV value of publication. Some authors put a premium on journal prestige. Here are some factors to consider. Editorial broad members. Prestigious journals usually have eminent researchers as members of the editorial board. Visit the journal website to check the names on the editorial board or the board members well known in your field of study. Journal sponsorship is the journal owned or the sponsored by prestigious society in your field. What is the journal impact factor? Don't just look at the actual impact factor since the impact factor values vary by field. Consider the impact factor relative to those of similar journals within your field. And the fifth one which is you have to check what is the journal turnaround time. Peer reviewed period. This means the peer reviewing period of a journal. How many issues does the journal publish in a year? 
and a monthly journal is much more likely to review your article quickly compared with the journal that only publishes once a year some journals list the date submitted and date accepted comparing these dates will give an approximate idea of turnaround time publication delay if the journal has an online edition does it post accepted articles online there once approved for publication if so this means that your article will be published online soon after it is accepted and for practical purposes will be considered as a published paper even if it appears in print much later for those looking to publish in a will win less than within less than 2 months open access may be the best option when you are selecting a perfect journal you must have a checklist for journal selection so i am showing you the checklist which will help you to select the particular or a perfect journal which will helpful for your research so let's discuss about the checklist you you must have these questions to solve your problem or solve your research or selecting a journal does the subject of your article match the journal subject focus does the journal accept the article type you are intended to submit is the journal ready by your target audience is the journal included in bibliographic and subject specific databases does the journal have an online edition is the journal impact factor in line with your requirements is the journal regarded as a prestigious one in its field by colleagues and peers what is the turn around time for article submitted to the journal how many times in a year is the journal published what are the publication charges is the length and structure of your manuscript acceptable to your journal so these kind of questions you have to be keep it in mind or you have to ask to your journal when you are selecting a particular or a perfect journal or for selecting a perfect journal let's move on to the conclusion of the video carefully selecting the journal to which you to submit your manuscript greatly reduces the chance of rejection of your work once you have taken a preliminary decision on the journal read the instructions to authors to discover the limitations imposed by your journal in the form of article format word count citation style photograph specifications publication cost etc this will help you to make a final decision and it will help you to find a particular journal and select perfectly i think this video will be helpful for you if you like my video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon If you have any other queries and doubts regarding these topics you can contact us through this WhatsApp number or mail us through this mail ID